We continue our reading of From the Heart, a daily devotional by author Ellen G. White. Today's reading, March 7, What God Values. There is one who scatters yet increases more, and there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. Proverbs 11, 24. Experience shows that a spirit of benevolence is more often to be found with those of limited means than among the more wealthy. The most liberal donations for the cause of God or the relief of the needy come from the poor person's purse, while many to whom the Lord has committed an abundance for this very purpose See not the necessity for means to advance the truth, and hear not the cries of the poor among them. The gift of the poor, the fruit of self-denial, to extend the precious light of truth, is as fragrant incense before God. And every act of self-sacrifice for the good of others will strengthen the spirit of beneficence in the giver's heart allying the donor more closely to the Redeemer of the world, who was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye, through his poverty, might be rich. The smallest sum, given cheerfully, as a result of self-denial, is of more value in God's sight than the offerings of those who could give thousands and yet feel no lack. The poor widow who cast two mites into the treasury of the Lord showed love, faith, and benevolence. She gave all that she had, trusting to God's care for the uncertain future. Her little gift was pronounced by our Savior, the greatest that day cast into the treasury. Its value was measured not by the worth of the coin, but by the purity of the motive which prompted her sacrifice. God's blessing upon that sincere offering has made it the source of great results. The widow's might has been like a tiny stream flowing down through the ages, widening and deepening in its course and contributing in a thousand directions to the extension of the truth and the relief of the needy. The influence of that small gift has acted and reacted upon thousands of hearts in every age and in every country upon the globe. As a result, unnumbered gifts have flowed into the treasury of the Lord from the liberal, self-denying poor. And again, Her example has stimulated to good works thousands of ease-loving, selfish, and doubting ones, and their gifts also have gone to swell the value of her offering. Liberality is a duty on no account to be neglected. It is to cultivate a spirit of benevolence in us that the Lord calls for our gifts and offerings. Review and Herald, February 9, 1886. This concludes our reading today of From the Heart. Amazing Grace is the sweetest song I know. Sing, he paid the price, and Jesus bore it all. I've heard them sing, I'm coming home, and he the master's call. I've heard them sing the modern songs and songs of long ago. 
That amazing race so sweet the song is the sweetest song I know Amazing grace, so sweet the sound. Oh, how sweet is the sound! No sweeter song, sweeter song could in this life be found. Who about the Savior's blood? Was just white, with white as snow. But amazing grace, so sweet the sound is the sweetest song I know. It was the song my mother sang in sweet and humble voice Like music from the world above, it made my soul rejoice Its soothing words and melodies let the rippling waters flow But amazing grace, so sweet the sound is the sweetest song I know Amazing grace, so sweet the sound Oh, how sweet is the sound Sweeter song, sweeter song In this life could be found Heard about the Savior's blood Washed as white, with white as snow But amazing grace, so sweet the sound Is the sweetest song I know Amazing grace, so sweet the sound Oh, how sweet is the sound Sweeter song, sweeter song In this life could be found Heard about the Savior's blood Washed as white, with white as snow But amazing grace, so sweet the song Is the sweetest song I know But amazing grace, so sweet the song Is the sweetest song I know Oh